All right, continuing on with the lesson with 4.2, um, you should see this chart and one of the handouts that you printed out. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at graphs for degree 1, degree 2, 3, 4, and 5 polynomials. And then this column right here where it says leading coefficient positive, so these will be graphs of the various degree polynomials with coefficients leading coefficients that are positive, and then this column will be those same polynomials of degree, but the leading coefficient is negative. And we're going to go through these one by one, and I'll do through a degree three with you, and then you can do four and five on your own. And we're going to fill in this chart. And then the purpose of filling in this chart is then to be able to see patterns between degree, and x-intercepts, and turning points, and end behavior. So the goal, or the objective, is if you know the degree, you should know the x-intercepts, the turning points, and the end behavior. Likewise, if you know the end behavior, and or the turning points, and or the intercepts, you should be able to come up with a degree. So let's first start with uh, degree 1, so let me pull up that one a minute, and I'll just put that right over here. Okay, so this is a polynomial of degree 1, and it's a degree 1, it's a line, and it has a leading coefficient that's positive um, because it has a slope that's positive, it's increasing. So this is degree 1, and when I look at it, I want to ask myself how many x-intercepts are there? Well, there's one x-intercept, so in this column space right there, I'm going to write 1, because there's one x-intercept. Now when I look at the graph, I'm going to look for turning points. There's nowhere on this line where it changes from positive to negative, increasing to decreasing, no peaks, no valleys, nothing. So the number of turning points is 0. Okay, now the leading coefficient's positive, so I'm going to concern myself with this column. I like to write end behavior kind of like an ordered pair. So the left-hand side is telling me what the left side of the graph is doing. The right-hand side of this little ordered pair would tell me what the right-hand side of the polynomial is doing. So let's examine that. So when I look at the left side of the polynomial, as x approaches negative infinity, there's negative infinity way out there, y, or f of x, also approaches negative infinity. So it's a negative, so I'm going to put a negative right there. You don't need to write the infinity because they're all going to infinity. It's either positive infinity or negative infinity. So that's the left-hand side. Now let's look at the right-hand side. The right-hand side of this graph is x approaches positive infinity. What is the graph doing? Well, it's going up here also to positive infinity. So I'm going to write a positive right there. Okay, so hold on that for a second. And let me get rid of that one and all this other writing, and I'll bring the negative one in here a second. So let's sort of picture. So degree one negative coefficient. We'll move that over there. Okay. All right, so this one is the leading coefficient is negative. Um, it's a degree one, so nothing has changed with x-intercepts. It still has one. It still has zero turning points, but now I'm concerned with the end behavior in this column, because this is the column for negative leading coefficient. So I'm going to write in my little parentheses, and on the left-hand side right here, I'm going to examine what happens to the left-hand side of the graph. As x approaches negative infinity, I see that this graph now is approaching positive infinity. So I'm going to put a little plus right there. Now let's look at the right-hand side of the graph. As x approaches positive infinity, the line's going down, 
So the graph then approaches positive infinity. And I'm going to put the little positive right there. Okay. Oh, nope, that's negative. Let's change that before we get too far here. That didn't look right. Erase that, put a negative. There we go. And erase this one and put a negative there. Does that look better? Let's see. As x approaches positive infinity, y or f of, f of x approaches negative infinity, and there's the negative. All right, good. So let's get rid of that and erase all this other stuff. This will move along a little quicker so you get the hang of it. All right, so let's bring in the next one. So now we want degree 2, and let's do the positive one first. Okay. Okay, so degree 2. So now I'm going to work on this row right here. So degree 2, x-intercepts, I see two of them. Turning points, well, I see one. Here's the spot where it goes from decreasing to increasing. So there's one. This is a positive leading coefficient, so I'm going to fill in this column, make my little parentheses, and what is happening on the left-hand side of the graph? As x approaches negative infinity, y, or f of x, is approaching positive infinity. So I'm going to write a little positive right there. And then what's happening on the right-hand side? As x approaches positive infinity, the graph on the right-hand side is also approaching positive infinity. So I'm going to write a little positive right there. All right, let me get rid of this one. And erase all of this. And let's bring in the next picture. So we want degree 2, and we want the negative coefficient. There we go. Okay. All right, so degree 2, and we still see two x-intercepts. That's good. We still see one turning point. That's good. And now this leading coefficient is negative, so I'm going to fill in this column right here. And the left-hand side, let's see what that's doing. As x approaches negative infinity, well, the graph is going down here, and it will approach negative infinity. So we'll put a little negative right there. Let's look at the right-hand side. As f of x, I'm sorry, as x approaches positive infinity, the graph continues down this way to negative infinity. So we'll put a little negative right there. All right, so let's move on to degree 3. I'll do that one with you, and then you can do 4 and 5 by yourself. There we go. Get rid of that. Erase all of this. Okay, let's erase this. So now we want degree 3 positive leading coefficient. Okay. Okay. So here we go, degree 3. All right. So I'm going to fill out this row right here. I'm going to switch back to my green. Okay. So how many x-intercepts do we see here? 1, 2, 3. There's three places it crosses the x-axis. Now we're going to look at our turning points. Well, there's one right there, and there's another right there. So that's 2. This leading coefficient's positive, so I'm going to fill out that column right there. There's my parentheses. Let's look at the left-hand side. As x approaches negative infinity, f of x, or the y, well, look, that's going down, so that's approaching negative infinity, so I'll put my little negative right there. Let's look at the right-hand side. As x approaches positive infinity, what's happening to f of x? It's going up here, so that means it's approaching positive infinity. And I'll put my little positive right there. All right, so let's get rid of this now. And we'll erase all these things. OK, and then we'll bring
bring the next one in. Degree 3, negative coefficient. There we go. All right, let's look at this one. Okay, so degree 3, this has a negative leading coefficient. Still, we have three x-intercepts. We have two turning points, so that has not changed at all. Let's now just look at the end behavior. So on the left-hand side of the graph, as x approaches negative infinity, what is f of x doing? f of x is going up here and approaching positive infinity. Now let's look at the right-hand side. As x approaches positive infinity, f of x, or the y, is approaching negative infinity. Okay, so I've got the first three filled up for you. Go ahead and do uh, polynomial degree four. You can tell if you have positive or leading, or positive or negative leading coefficients by looking at the equation right there. Um, so go ahead and do row five. I'm sorry, degree five, four, and then degree five. So do those two, and then we'll pick up in the next next video.